Welcome to this video um, about similarity. And uh, this is the first video in um, a playlist of videos about similarity. And I strongly encourage you to have a look at all the videos because in each video there will be something for you to consider, something new, uh, something, something to think about. So please have a look at all my videos. It's only about um, maybe seven or eight of them in total. And then you know everything you need to know about similarity. You can also go to my site explainingmaths.com where you'll find all these videos nicely organized. But now let's get started, eh? talking about similarity. I have explained the difference between congruence and similarity. Eh? Congruence means identical, exactly the same, while similarity means something different. Similarity or similar figures, yeah, and this is crucial that you understand that. It means that the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in proportion. Yeah, so the corresponding angles are equal. I'm going to show you examples in a minute, and the corresponding sides are in proportion. Yes, yeah, so we're going to tell you what that means. Very quickly now here, let's say I have a line three, and this is a corresponding side of a particular figure which I didn't finish yet, which is six. And what is your objective every time is to find out what is the skill factor, okay? You want to find out what is the skill factor, how many times is one figure bigger than the other or how many times is it smaller than the other. Now the skill factor here, if that one is three and that one is six, yeah, how many times is this one bigger? Yeah, so the skill factor SF would be the corresponding sides divided by each other, so two. And most of you already saw that straight away. Well, the, yeah, it's, it's twice as big, three times two is six, yes? And that easy, um, is it yeah so don't think too difficult about it let's say I would draw another sign here and I say that one is one centimeter and then the question would be so how long or what is the length now of that side well you determine the skill factor this uh, figure let's let's say it would be um, a rectangle or whatever so let me just finish the rectangle there we go um, uh, this one. So there are similar figures. The corresponding angles are equal. Eh? They're exactly the same size. They're all 90 degrees, by the way. And the corresponding sides are in proportion. Yeah. So if this one is twice as big, then x has to be twice as big. Yeah. So one times two. Yeah. That is one times the skill factor, which is two. That's what we determine by looking at those corresponding sides. So x is going to be two. Now this is a very easy example. I'm going to give you two more examples before moving on to the next video. Okay? So the question will state that the triangles are similar. Okay? It needs to be in the question that they are similar. Um, and they are not drawn to scale. Huh? So do not use your ruler to find out the length of x. No. This is how you approach it. By the way, there are different ways of approaching it, but this is how I always approach it. I'm looking for x. And I'm going to divide that over the corresponding side in the other figure. Yeah? So x corresponds with which side? This one. So x over 6. They are the two corresponding sides. And that has to equal. And then I'm looking for two corresponding sides that I both know the length of. So they are corresponding. I know this one is 8. I know that one is 4. So I start with the big figure. Yeah? x. Over, so I'm going to start again with the big figure 8 over 4. Now, just common sense, x is going to be bigger than 6. I hope you agree with that. Yeah, It's going to be bigger than 6. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So x is going to be 2 times 6, which is 12 units or centimeter meters, depending on what the question tells you. Now, another approach could have been that you have just said, well, the scale factor, if I look at these two corresponding sides, is 2, yeah, basically that's what I've done, eh? 8 divided by 4, I'm looking for the skill factor, 2, so 6 times the skill factor, that eh? 6 times the skill factor 2 is going to give me my new length, 12, okay, now over here, before I start, x um, is going to be smaller than 15, so any answer bigger than 15 is going to be wrong, and some of you are going to give an answer bigger than 15, it doesn't make sense, eh? so always evaluate your final answer. Yeah, uh, the question will state that they are similar triangles. It's not drawn to scales. Don't use your ruler. 
Um, and I'm going to say x over the corresponding side in the other figure. Eh? It's a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, x over 15 equals. I started with the smaller triangle. So I'm going to start with the smaller triangle again. I'm looking for two corresponding lengths of which I know the size of both. Yeah, 3 over 9. Okay, so x is going to be 3 over 9, eh? which is 1 over 3 times 15. Okay, 1 over 3 times 15, that is 5 yeah, units. I'll just put units behind it, yeah, because I didn't write down units, uh, centimeters or meters, so 5 units. Okay, so some of you would probably or maybe have said, well, the skill factor is 3. Yeah, that's correct. If you go from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle, it is 3 times as big the bigger triangle. Yeah, but do not do 15 times 3 then 45. Now that doesn't make sense because x has to be smaller than 15. Ah, because I'm going from big to small now, I have to divide it by the skill factor. Eh? 15 divided by 3, which is the same as 15 times 1 over 3. Different ways to work with similarity. Okay, now you always have to look for the skill factor. You have to look for corresponding sides. They're going to be in proportion. Yeah, if this one is three times as big, then that one will be three times as big. That's what proportion means. Corresponding angles are always the same. Yeah, so if this one is, for instance, 70 degrees, then that angle will be 70 degrees. They're going to be the same. Okay, um, go to the next video uh, where I have a different type of example question which you can also encounter. So I'll see you there. Explainingmaths.com. Bye-bye.